Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and receive two free stocks valued up to $1,400. Now, that is free stocks that you guys can receive right now just by clicking the link in the description. And this episode is going to be another banger, guys. I'm comparing the top beverage companies in the world. I'm going to compare Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Nestle. Now, I own some Coca-Cola in my stock portfolio right now that pays out dividends. I own a little bit more of Pepsi, but I do not own Nestle. Nestle probably have the most popular bottled water in the world and i'm looking to add another dividend stock to my portfolio so if it outperforms pepsi and coca-cola in this video i plan to pick up some soon if pepsi win this video i'm going to continue to reinvest in that and if coke win i'm gonna leave my house and go buy me a coke but enough talking let's go ahead and get straight into this video Before we dive into this video, make sure that you guys leave a thumbs up. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. I'm telling you, it helps me out tremendously. Welcome back YouTube. Make sure you stick to the end of the video where we do our back testing so you guys can see which company performed the best in this video. Here we are over on Seeking Alpha. This is where we'll be getting our data from. The companies that we're gonna be comparing is KO, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, ticker symbol PEP, and Nestle, ticker symbol NSRGY. The first one up is Coca-Cola. Coke is at $48.45 at the recording of this video. The dividend growth is 57 years. That means Coca-Cola is a dividend king. All right, first there's dividend aristocrats, and then there's dividend kings. A dividend aristocrat is a company that has been inside the S&P 500 and increased their dividends over the last 25 years. A dividend king is a company that has increased their dividends over the last 50 years. Coke has increased their dividends over the last 57 years. So this is a very dependable, trustworthy company. You know they're going to grow their dividends, dividends every year. So this is another factor to decide on buying stock. There's many factors on deciding on how to buy stock and why to buy stock, but this is a good factor being a dividend king. Coca-Cola pays out quarterly. That means they pay out every three months, four times a year. And their dividend yield is at 3.38%. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And Coca-Cola, they pay out 41 cents per share every quarter. That means every three months, you will receive 41 cents in dividends from Coca-Cola every three months. Okay, the next one up is PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. Pepsi is at $137.56. That is a big leap from Coca-Cola when you're comparing prices. Their dividend growth is 48 years. So they're almost dividend kings. You got two more years in order to become dividend kings. Right now, they're dividend aristocrats. That is great. They pay out, they also pay out quarterly, and they have a dividend yield of 2.97%. So in Pepsi, you will receive $1.02 every quarter from PepsiCo for every share that you own. So that's around $4.06 on the year. Uh, so for every three months, you will receive $1.02 for every share that you own. And the last one we're gonna compare is the Big Water Bottle Company, what they're most known for. They have many products. We're gonna go over that right quick. But Nestle, ticker symbol NSRGY, is at $119.26. They have grown their dividends over the last three years and they pay out annually. That means they pay out just one time a year, okay guys? If you're looking at the dividend yield, they have a 2.32% dividend yield. It's pretty good. And for Nestle, you'll receive $2.76 every single year since they pay out annually. So for every year, you'll receive $2.76 for every share that you own of NSRGY Nestle. So let's dive into what products they own right quick to give you a, a quick, clear understanding. And then we'll dive into their numbers on their earnings, how much they made last year, and their cash on hand. All right, so look, so here's Coke looking at a couple products that they own. They own Coke, Sprite, Fanta, uh, Root Beer. And then we look at the water and hydration. They got the Sunny, Smart Water, Pyrate, Vitamin Water, uh, Toco Pico, Choco Chico, Choco Chico. All right, and then uh, juices, they got Minute Maid, Simply, a couple of other juices I haven't heard of, coffees, 
two coffees and then teas. I think they might have a couple of teas. Let's scroll down. There we go, Peace Tea, Gold Peak Unexfused Tea, and a couple of other teas that's probably overseas. So uh, as you guys can see, Coke is all about the beverage in industry. They invest into beverages that you can drink. Now, Pepsi on the other hand, ooh, we can't even go over everything Pepsi have in one video. All right, so just to be quick, beverages, they got Pepsi, Gatorade, orange juice, um, Starbucks, Brisk, Sierra Mist. I'm gonna be real quick. Foods, they got all the Frito-Lays, Ruffles, uh, Smart Food, Sun Chips. Just been real quick. Um, Cracker Jacks, Fritos. I mean, we can scroll for days for Pepsi, all right? Just to give you guys a quick understanding. To even make it more clear on how much Pepsi Co owns, they don't just own uh, items that you could drink. Let's look at all the things they have trademarked over in Russia and Spain. They have Aquafina, um, Cheetos, Chester's, Crunch, Mountain Dew, Diet Mug, Diet Pepsi, uh, Gatorade, Gatorade Zero, Frito-Lay. These are what they have trademarks. Just look at this long list, list right here. Ruffles, 7-Up, um, Smart Foods. This is just a, a long list of what they actually have trademarked. This is licensed and joint partnership trademarks. Dole, Lipton, Ocean Spray, um, Starbucks, Papa John's, okay. A couple more products, breakfast bars, Cracker Chews, coffee drinks, Starbucks, energy drinks. They have Rockstar, Starbucks, um, Bang, AMP, cereal to have pretty much. If you ever ate cereal in your life, you ate a Pepsi product from Cracker Oaks. Aunt Jemima, pancake mix side dishes snacks all right so just this is this is the list of pepsico okay guys now you see sports nutrition gatorade all the gatorade g series everything bottled water aquafina propel so all right so this that's pepsi now you see the big difference in between pepsi and coca-cola pepsi invests into everything they have they're a part of everything coke is only about drinks now, if we're taking a look at Nestle, what do they have? Look like they have Purina, the dog food, Boost. A lot of these things I never heard of. That's the cat food, Cheerios, they own Cheerios. So if you ate some Cheerios, you ate some Nestle products. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know about, they got more dog food. Um, Nestle, chocolate milk, I used to love that as a kid. Gerber, Gerber baby, there you go. Hot Pockets, oh wow, I did not know they own Hot Pockets. Jack's, Kit Kat, wow, they own Kit Kat. Of course they do and just continue this is the list of nestle and then their most and their most popular product is probably right here the world most popular bottled water brand nestle pure life that is their water so yes they have a big portfolio as well it's looking like they go into the food industry too and chocolate and candy so they make cookies chocolate candy water and a couple other drinks gerber so they don't just only make beverage products like how coke make they make a bunch of different other products okay so real quick let's go over their revenue from december 2019 um, coca-cola brought in 37.27 billion dollars that's coke pepsi brought in 67.16 billion dollars and nestle brought in 95.97 billion dollars so nestle has brought in the most money december 2019. let's look at cash on hand because like warren buffett says whoever has the most cash on hand when in a recession is king okay looking at the balance sheet of coca-cola they have 19.83 billion dollars worth in cash pepsi has 9.12 billion dollars worth in cash and Nestle has $5.57 billion worth of cash. So that's something also to think about when comparing stocks to each other to see which one is the best buy. So let's go into back test these three stocks to see which one performed the best over the last 10 years to might help you decide on your decision on what stock to buy in the future. All right, here we are on the portfolio visualizer. Let's go ahead and compare the last 10 years. So from 2010 to 2020, um, include year to date. Let's say we invested $10,000 back in 2010. Cash flow, none. Rebalance, no rebalancing. Uh, display income, yes. We're gonna reinvest our dividends. And let's say the first one was Coca-Cola, KO. The second one was Pepsi. And then the third one was NSRGY. Wow. All right, there we go. 
Let's allocate 100% to portfolio number one. Portfolio number two is Pepsi and portfolio number three is NSRGY. Nestle, let's rename these portfolios. One is KO, two is PEP, and three is NSRGY. All right. So when I click this button to analyze this portfolio, this is us investing $10,000 back in 2010 with also reinvesting the dividends and letting that grow over the next 10 years to 2020. We will see how did they perform over the last 10 years to kind of help us decide on what are we leaning towards to invest in the future. So let's click this button. And there we go, guys. Coca-Cola is at $22,950 you will have in your final balance. Pepsi is at $30,848. And look at this. Look at this, guys. Nestle outperformed both of them with $33,083. That was a surprise, okay? That was a surprise. Actually, if we're looking at this chart right here, it, it's been a close tie over the last couple of years. One company's up, one company's down. Right here, uh, Nestle was at the bottom over in 2016, caught back up. And then that's when Pepsi and Nestle just separated from Coca-Cola all together. Right here with that gap right there. And then towards the last couple of months, Nestle has just outperformed um, coca-cola and pepsi at the same time but not too long ago like but not too long ago at the at the end of january 31st 2020 pepsi was above nestle but now nestle is outperforming pepsi by around three thousand dollars let's scroll down to the dividend income okay nestle haven't paid out their dividends yet so let's look at 2018 you received 707 dollars from coke not bad pepsi you received 754 dollars and nestle you received 670 dollars so that's not bad pepsi still is look like a great company to invest into if you want to dividend invest considering that they was right there neck with neck with uh nestle back at the beginning of the year of 2020 so that's not bad and you'll be collecting those dividends and you'll just be a little bit behind nestle they just but they just had a surge right here in july to help them surpass coca-cola and pepsi so let's go ahead and buy the dips guys how we're going to buy dips is reinvesting every single month into the stock market whether it's high whether it's low we're going to, we're going to reinvest 800 dollars every single month to see if any change would happen at all so we're going to scroll up and we're going to say we only invested one thousand dollars back in 2010 and if you guys have subscribed to my channel you will know that i invest 200 dollars every single week into the stock market so 200 dollars every single week is 800 dollars a month so let's put 800 right there and change that to monthly and go on and hit analyze portfolio so when we hit this this is us putting one thousand dollars into the, each one of these companies back in 2010 we're investing eight hundred dollars every single month into these companies and we let it grow over the next 10 years so let's analyze this portfolio And there it goes, guys. Once again, yes, Nestle won there at $215,000. Pepsi is at $207,000 and Coke is at $160,000. Now, the worst year Coke ever had was down 13%. The worst year Pepsi had was down 4.81%. And the worst year Nestle had is at down is down 2.75 percent now that is a pretty safe company right there it's the most you ever been down over the last 10 years was down 2.75 percent that is amazing you only had one bad year of negative 2.75 that is an amazing job for nestle so just looking at these numbers i'm probably going to continue to reinvest into pepsi and probably pick up some nestle as well and i'll probably just be buying some coca-cola drinks from here on out and not too much investing into that company since, since they only invest into beverages is not too good for me as an investor to only invest into a company that just does one thing pepsi does it all and nestle also does it all if we look at this chart right here one smooth chart that's why it's always best to reinvest guys it's going to stay consistent with your investing and you guys will grow your portfolio like this over time so this is at the end of the year coke pepsi 
And the same thing happened back on January 31st, 2020. Pepsi was above um, Nestle, but Nestle just outperformed Pepsi so far this year. It had a surge over the last couple of months, which uh, made it outperform Pepsi and Coca-Cola at the same time. But Pepsi is a great company to invest into. So now I do own Coke and I do own Pepsi. So let's pull that up in my Robinhood to take a look at each one. Here we are on my Robinhood account. I have six shares of Coke for $290.70. It's about 1.28% of my portfolio. And I am down $27.94 since I bought Coke. Let's look how I got paid out in dividends. So, so far I received four payments in dividends from Coke, $1.60, $2.40, $2.46, and $2.46 for owning six shares of Coca-Cola and they pay out quarterly. So I had Coke for a little over a year now. So let's go on and check out Pepsi to see how have that been performing in my portfolio. Here we are with Pepsi, it's at $137.56. I own one share and I'm down $4.75, down 3.34%. So I did not lose as much in Pepsi as I did in Coke. I probably should have got more Pepsi. Here we go, let's scroll down. If we're taking a look at my dividend history from Pepsi, I received one in April for 96 cents and one in June 30th for a dollar and two cents. So I have been getting paid my dividends from Pepsi. Now that I know that Pepsi is outperforming Coke on every level, I'll probably only reinvest back into Pepsi from here on out until Coca-Cola starts to pick back up and be innovative in the beverage industry. And that's all it is, guys. If you made it this far into the video, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. It really helps out this channel more than you can imagine. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm probably going to continue to buy PepsiCo, and I'm also going to try to pick up a share or two of Nestle over the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. Or whenever I have some extra cash laying around so I can invest into these great companies that has been tested through times over the last 10 years to only draw down negative 2% over the last 10 years. That's a pretty good company if you ask me and they also pay dividends. So th that might be another ad that I add into my Robinhood portfolio. Once again, if you guys want two free stocks, make sure you click the link down in the description. You sign up, deposit $100 and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. It's right here. Thank you. Bye.